my name is Julian Kage, and I believe that my invention is the next big thing in biotechnology. I'm currently an 8th grade student at Talcum Mountain Academy in Avon, Connecticut. Have you ever found a tick on yourself and worried that there might be Lyme disease? Well, worry no more. Introducing Quick Lyme, the rapid test for Lyme bacteria and ticks. Wooded areas are full of dangers of all types of set and sizes, but the biggest isn't what you expect it to be. Isn't it some large creature such as a bear, or a poisonous plant, or some mythical being that can control you? Instead, it's a tiny little arachnid known as the deer tick. This little creature can ruin your life, or at least make it painful for a while, as it uh, carries a bacterium known as Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease. Lyme disease is named after the place where it originally was discovered, which was in Lyme, Connecticut in 1975. Lyme disease has become an increasing problem as cases are being reported from coast to coast and internationally. The, CDC, uh, the New York Times reported on May 2nd, 2018, that the CDC said, that the number of infections from ticks and other insects has more than tripled than that in 2018 than that in other years. Treatment for Lyme disease is simple if found early enough. This is a problem because tick testing can take for almost up to two weeks for results to get back from lab. For this reason, I decided that I wanted to make a test to detect uh, to see if your tick has Lyme disease that you can do at home. After doing considerable research, I settled on the t uh, making a test using the basic principle of a competitive lateral flow amino acid which is the basic principle of a test that's used in both uh, strep throat and pregnancy tests. My invention uses nitrocellular strips as test paper and glass fiber pads for the sample pad, both of which are put inside a 3D printed case that I designed. As Borrelia is dangerous to work with, I'm using a synthetic version of the, protein, of the Borrelia protein known as Vise. The, my invention also uses anti-Vise, the antibody for Borrelia, which is dried onto the test line and albumin biopsy in the control, which is dried into the control line. The test also uses strep adenine gold, which is a marker enzyme that turns the te test line and control line red when it bonds. The test also uses flow buffer, which stops proteins from denaturing and overall stops the test from failing. And finally, I'm also using C6 peptide, which helps strep adenine gold bind to the antibody for Borrelia in the case that Borrelia is not present in the tick. My test works by first applying the antibody for Borrelia on the test line and albumin biotin on the con control line. The tick is then placed into the sample pad here and crushed. Several drops of C6 peptide and strep adenine gold are added, and finally, several drops of flow buffer are added. Capillary forces pull all the liquids across the test strip. When Borrelia is present, one red line will appear on the control area. As Borrelia stops the creation of stops strep adenine gold from creating a red line, on the test area. In a negative test, two red lines will appear. The test that I'm showing you here has already been used in a test where no Borrelia was added, and as a result, there are two red lines. The test also has several problems that I discovered while I was making it. The main thing is, is that if I waited too long between adding reactants to the synth uh, synthetic Borrelia, it would dry up, like so. My test, to further improve my test, I would have to measure the sensitivity of the test and how little Borrelia can detect. The test also has future research applications, such as measuring the percentage of infected ticks in a particular area. My invention has no similar uh, patents other than very expensive laboratory tests that can only be done at home. Uh, in the future, I'd like to do my test in a, using actual Borrelia in a controlled environment. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you like my invention.